This is the transistor. It is the single most important element in modern day computers because without it, it wouldn't even be a computer. Over the past 40 years, the number and size of transistors have changed dramatically. In 1970, Intel's 4004 microprocessor had 2,250 transistors at 10 micrometers each. Fast forward to 2015, IBM's Z13 storage controller has over 7.1 billion transistors at 22 nanometers each. And here's some even crazier news. In late July 2015, Samsung announced that in 2016 it would begin producing 10 nanometer FinFET transistor microprocessors. Of course, this technology wouldn't be available for some time. However, Samsung has announced that they would soon use the technology in their Galaxy S7 smartphones. What enables them to reach such tremendously small sizes is the fact that they are relatively simple, single function devices. In essence, a transistor works much like this. There is power applied to the source and drain, but there is no current flow, generating logic zero. When you apply voltage to the gate, current flow is enabled and it generates a logic one. Now, when you scale this up to billions and billions of transistors, you're able to generate complex arithmetic calculations, as well as generating huge data streams from input and output devices. Computers use these calculations and data to calculate things as simple as 2 plus 2, 356 times 78,364, all the way up to calculating the orbital trajectory of the space shuttle, or even something as simple as your GPS telling you the fastest way to McDonald's.